Lesson 9.2c, Prime Factorization Using a Ladder Diagram. So now we've learned that a prime number is a whole number greater than one that has exactly two factors, itself and one. Two, three, five, seven, eleven, thirteen, seventeen, nineteen, twenty-three, and twenty-nine are the first ten prime numbers. They're greater than one and the only factors they have are themselves in one. The prime factorization of a number is the number written as the product of its prime factors. Here we have a ladder diagram. A ladder diagram shows the prime factorization of 18 as the numbers on the left. We have a 2, a 3, and a 3. I'll show you how to make one of these. We can use a ladder diagram to find the prime factorization of 42. We write 42 in the top step, and we choose a prime factor of 42 and write it to the left of the top step, and I chose 2. We divide and write the quotient, 42 divided by 2 is 21, we write that in the next step, and we choose another prime factor. What are some factors of 21? Well, 3 times 7, so we write a 3 here as our prime factor, and 21 divided by 3 is 7, we write a 7 here. And what are the factors of 7? Well, 7 and 1. And we have a 2, 3, and 7 as our prime factors. We keep dividing and making more steps until the la on the ladder until we get to a quotient of 1. 7 is a prime number because the only factors it has is 7 and 1, so we know we're finished. So for the prime factorization of 42, we've got 2 times 3 times 7. And we can multiply to check our answer. We can do 2 times 3, which is 6, and then 6 times 7 is 42, so we know we did it correctly. We can complete a factor tree, which we learned how to do in video 9.2, that's linked in the description, and a ladder diagram for 68. We think of two factors that will equal 68. I think, well, 4 times 17. 17 is a prime number, so we're going to circle it and stay there. But 4 has the factors of 2 times 2. We have the factors 2 times 2 times 17. For our ladder diagram, we think, well, 68's an even number. We can divide it by 2 and get 34. We can divide 34 by 2 and get 17. And the only factors for 17 are 17 and 1, so that's a prime number. In the factor tree, we can use any factors. In the ladder diagram, we can only use prime factors on the outside here on the left. But they both show 2 raised to the second power times 17. We have two twos, so that's 2 raised to the second power times 17. We have two twos and a 17. They show the same answer. Even numbers have 2 as a factor. 2 is a prime number, so even numbers will have 2 as a prime factor. All of the divisors on the left side of the ladder diagram must be prime numbers, and they'll show us the prime factorization. We have a 44. If we divide it by 2, we get a 22. We can divide that by 2, we get 11. And the only factors for 11 are an 11 and a 1. The prime factorization for 44 is we have two twos, so that's 2 raised to the second power, times 11. When all the factors are prime numbers and their product is the original number, we'll know we found the prime factorization. We can find the prime factorization of the product of 2 times 3 times 15 without multiplying them first. We don't need to multiply them together. 2 and 3 are prime numbers. We just need to factor 15. And 15 is 3 times 5. These are both prime numbers. So the prime factorization of 2 times 3 times 15 is 2 times 3 raised to the second power times 5. We have 
a 2, a 3, a 3, and a 5. So we have 2 times 3 raised to the second power times 5. If we need to find the prime factorization of a number of great value, try dividing it by 2, 3, 5, 7, or 11, and see what happens. We have 351, and we need to find the prime factorization for it. And we think, well, it's not an even number, so 2 won't work. So we can try doing 351 divided by 3. And look, I got 117. So we know we can put a 3 here, and we know we can put a 117 here. Then I tried dividing 117 by 3, and I got a 39. So we put a 3 here, and we put a 39 here. And I thought, well, 39 is easier to work with. 3 can go into 39 13 times. So I wrote a 13 here. And I thought, what are the factors of 13? A 13 and a 1. So the prime factorization of 351 is we have 1, 2, 3, threes. So we have 3 raised to the third power times 13. So if you have some number of great value that's in the thousands or 700s, 800s, 900s, try dividing it by 2, 3, 5, 7, 11, 13 even, 17 even. But try these first. And if it's not an even number, go straight to 3 and see how many times that will fit in. If we did this and came up with a number and tried to divide it by 3 and it didn't go in evenly, well, then I would try dividing it by 5 or 7 or 11, and I would keep trying different prime numbers. So now we're going to move on to 9.3a, which is split into three parts, and it's about the order of operations. And we're going to be exploring the order of operations in 9.3a. Have a really nice day. Bye.